You want to create some great beats in FL Studio? Check out this video and learn how to set this up. In this video you will learn the basic steps on how to create a drum beat in FL Studio. We will use a VST drum kit plugin to play all the sounds through MIDI. This way you have much more editing possibilities for the sounds compared to triggering sample files. After starting FL Studio, select one of the VST drum kits from the plugin database. So I select the generators list of the installed plugins and there I will take the MT Power Drum Kit, one of the free VST plugins that I have installed on my computer. And I right click and send to selected channel or just drag it to the screen. Next I select to view the piano roll and in this case it is the piano roll of pattern 1. This pattern is standard set to 1 bar so when I start the playback you will see that the pattern only runs for 1 bar from 1 to 2 and then loops. The drum sounds of the power drum kit are situated from the C3 key upwards and when you click on the black and white keys on the side you can listen to the sounds. Now it is time to create your first beat. Let's start with the bass drum or kick at every whole beat of the bar. You will see the notes placed within the bar and at the bottom you will see what the velocity of that note is. And because we just clicked the notes in, they all have the same velocity. Velocity is a value between 1 and 128 and it tells you how hard the note is struck. This happens when you use a MIDI keyboard or drum pads. So a velocity of 128 is the loudest. If you want to change the velocity of the first note and make it louder, just click close to this velocity indicator and drag it up. Now you will hear the first beat is a bit louder. Time to add a snare. And I will do this on the second and fourth beat. Now if you want to edit the velocity of the snare, you will see that you are changing both the snare and the kick velocity because they are on the same beat. So you have to select the snare first by holding control and then click the note. Now you can drag the velocity of only that note. The same can be done by holding the ALT button on your keyboard and rolling your middle mouse button up or down while you are hovering over the note. That changes the velocity. And if you hold the shift key and roll with your middle mouse button while hovering over the note, it will move the note slightly forwards or backwards. Time to add the hi-hat. And for this we will use the paint option and fill in the first bar with 8 notes. We can do that by selecting half beat and paint the first bar. This will automatically create a hi-hat on every half beat, which in this case is 8 notes. All hi-hat sounds are now on the same velocity, but they are still all selected so I can change the velocity of the hi-hat to make it sound some more human. If you want to remove a note, you can just right click on it and it will be erased. If you want to remove a bunch of notes, hold the control button of your keyboard and drag over all notes and press the delete key of your computer keyboard. If you want to move a single note, you can drag it by clicking in the middle and move left or right or up and down. This pattern runs for one bar, but if you put some notes in the second bar, it automatically makes the pattern two bars. If you want to create different patterns to be used in a song, just add a new pattern and fill it with the notes you want. Well, that's how you can create a basic drum track in FL Studio. Now it's time for you to create some beats of your own. You know how to do this now. Check out the other examples of rhythm patterns we have or will create in future. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep you updated.